And Gary Danielson joins us now with sports, and the Tigers have yes. been away a long time. Editing to the last second, no, Gary. He, yeah, he big just game. ran in. A White Sox tonight, thanks. Oh. Yeah. Well, the Tigers <laughs> began the last stop on their longest road trip of the season by taking on the surprise team in baseball, a team that could win without even getting a hit, the Chicago White Sox. Great game here, tied up now in the eighth inning, 4-4. Four four. Let's go to the highlights. The Tigers opened the scoring in the Drive first. Two on Larry Sheets, who had three hits tonight, singles in lieu. The Tigers jumped out, one nothing, but it didn't last long. The Sox tally three in their opening inning. Carlos Martinez, singles in the third run, scoring Kittle. Sox now 3-1. to one. Top of the fifth, now four to one. Shelby on third with a triple. Mark Salas with the fly to Sammy Sosa. Watch as Sosa grabs it. Shelby tags and he delivers the strike. I don't know if it was a strike, but it was close enough. Three to four, range four to one. In the eighth inning, the Tigers now come back. Two on, Dave Bergman delivers the single scoring fielder. And the Tigers closed it with un, within one, four to three. They just made it four to four with a wild pitch. And that's what remains right now in boston today the uh, red sox did it again they came from behind in their last at bat to beat the rangers three to two let's head to the ninth kenny rogers in for nolan ryan but kevin romine greets him with his deep one deep it's gone his first home run of the season and the first place Sox build their lead to four and a half games because in Toronto, the Oakland A's finished a four-game series with the Blue Jays by winning again 3-2. This is the key hit from Ricky. I'm underpaid. Henderson, hey, maybe this guy's right. It's his 14th home run of the season. The Jays have now lost seven of their last eight. And tonight, first, the America, first in the American League, Cleveland and the Angels tied one all and out. Two outs. Mitch Webster makes the catch of Wally Joyners, but Candy Maldonado knocks it free. Joyner is tagged out at second, but the run scores, and that is the game winner. The Angels win two to one. There you see the scoreboard. California two to one. Kansas City over the Yankees nine to three in the seventh inning. Also in the National League tonight, we almost had the catch of the night. You'll see what I mean. The Expos. Mike Aldretti smashes this one deep to center. O to B Mc. Dow in hot pursuit, thoughts of making every highlight show, and whoop, watch it! Oh, jeez, talking about facing trouble head on, hang in there, O2B. You still made our highlights tonight. Atlanta, you see the scoreboard, Atlanta beats Montreal 6-3 to three in that game. Philadelphia over Houston 5-1. to one. At Wimbledon today, plenty of action. The men saw Lendl, Becker, and Edberg all win in the women's side, it was no upsets either. Navratilova, Celis, and Sabatini all advanced. But the match of the day was at center court as the future took on the present with Jennifer Capriati meeting Steffi Graf. And for now, at least, the number one seat in the near court was just too much for the 14-year-old phenom. Taking the match 6-2, 6-4. This is Graf serving match point, and this point summed up the difference. The power down the baseline Game buries the forehand. She's just it's a too hard for Jennifer to handle. More importantly, though, she'll grow and she'll get better. George Perlis officially took over his reins as athletic director at Michigan State by holding a press conference at Joe Lewis Arena. And today he uh, agreed with his old M.O. He faced his critics head on. If I didn't think I could do this, I certainly wouldn't have asked him. If I can't, it'll be the first time I've taken on a job I couldn't do. And my attitude is, work hard, keep your mouth shut. If someone doesn't like it, pack a lunch and bring a flashlight. Ooh. Pack a lunch and bring a flashlight. Guy. <laughs> he used to be a football coach. I know. <laughs> must have been. Must have been. Thanks, Thanks Gary. <laughs> Well, I guess the question is, will Mother Nature give us her own version of fireworks on the 4th <laughs> oh, of July? Well, the answer with that, Paul Long. And a forecast in a minute. Okay.